Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the count A function in Microsoft Excel. So let's go ahead and open up Microsoft Excel. I've got a spreadsheet here with some test data and we've got people here, right? Staff members, we've got wages and then we've got commission here, some comments. And the comments contain a mixture between values and also text values, so numeric values and text values. So you can see there's differences in the types of data, but this only contains numeric values and this only contains text values. So let's look at the difference between count function and counter or count a function. So if we go here and type in equals and type in count, and then we'll just double click on the function and let's just select all of these here and then we'll close the bracket and we'll hit the enter key we should get a value of six there's one two three four five six values in here right six rows of data in this particular column so we get a value of six but if we were to take that same function double click on it and then click on values here and drag this to the commission column and hit enter we don't get six anymore we get three values we get the value of three because there's one two three three entries that contain numeric values only and the other ones contain either text and numeric values together so the count function will only work on numeric based values right so if we double click here in fact let's just unhighlight these and if we double click here and take this over to the staff and hit enter we'll get a null value a zero value it contains nothing in that column that contains a numeric value on its own it can't be text and numeric it can only be numeric values this is why wages show six so let's just double click on here and we'll drag it back to wages uh, let's just double click we can drag it back to wages and hit enter and we'll see six so the counter function looks at numeric values and text-based values right it doesn't really care so if we do equals count a and then double click on the function and then if we were to select these values here and hit and close the bracket then hit enter we'll also get a value of six so now this function looks at both numeric and non-numeric data within a given column right so sometimes we want to calculate obviously this is only a small data set We've only got six rows of data if you had a you know 1250 rows of data then having this function available to calculate how many rows of data you have in a spreadsheet can be very useful especially when you're working with big data sets and you want to do some more complex calculations you want to take all of these values here for example and then you may want to do an average of those particular values or just look at specific people in a company and find out how much commission they've generated you can use other tools to do that within excel but i just want to explain the counter function or the count a function and how it differentiates from the normal count version right so if we double click here and if we click values and select them same values and hit enter we'll only get three here but in this one we get six because it ignores um whether they contain text or numerical it doesn't matter if we were to empty one of the sheets or empty one of the values let's say here you can see this still stays as three because there's still three numeric values in here for the count function right but the counter function because there's one empty row of data it will only calculate one two three four five entries right so if we were to undo that we'll get six so hopefully that's it that's quite a clear explanation of the differentiation of count and count a function or counter function uh, within Microsoft Excel um, try and learn and understand these functions because they can help you to speed up your your um, data um, examination right when you're examining data or you're manipulating data these functions can help you to speed up that process uh, within Excel so let's go ahead and save this work it's quite an easy tutorial explaining how the counter function differentiates from the standard count function in Microsoft Excel. Hopefully you find this tutorial useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can access over 600 free video tutorials. That's the end of this video tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.